How much work is done lifting a 40-pound object from the ground to the top of a 20-foot building if the cable used weighs at 0.5 pounds per foot? Well, the force required to lift the object has two components. We have to consider the weight of the object, which is 40 pounds, but also the weight of the cable, which changes as the object moves upward. As the object moves upward, the cable shortens, and therefore the weight of the cable is less. And therefore, the force function, f of x, would be equal to 40 pounds, the weight of the object, plus the weight of the cable, which again is going to change as the object moves upward. Notice it starts at 20 feet long, and if it weighs 0 0.5 pounds per foot, 20 times 0 0.5 would be 10. So the cable starts at 10 pounds, but then it loses 0 0.5 pounds per foot, so we'd have to subtract 0 0.5 times x, where x is the number of feet. So if we simplify this, we have f of x equals 50 minus 0 0.5x. Now before we find the work required to lift the object to the top of the building, let's look at the graph of this function on the coordinate plane. The function is graphed here in blue. Notice the horizontal axis is the distance traveled in feet, and the vertical axis is force in pounds. And since work is equal to force times distance, if we find the area under this function above the x-axis over this closed interval from 0 to 20, it would be the work required to lift the object to the top of the building. So we could find this area using the area formula for a trapezoid, but let's use a definite integral, where the work would be equal to the definite integral of f of x from a to b, where in our case from a to b would be from 0 to 20 feet. So the work required to lift the object to the top of the building would be equal to the integral of 50 minus 0 0.5x from 0 to 20. So now we'll find the antiderivative function, which would be 50x minus 0 0.5 times x squared divided by 2. We'll evaluate this at 20 and then 0 and then find the difference. Let's clean this up first. 0 0.5 divided by 2 would be 0 0.25. So we have 50x minus 0 0.25 times x squared. And now we'll evaluate this at 20 and then at 0. Well, when x is 20, we have 50 times 20 minus 0 0.25 times 20 squared. And then when x is 0, we have 0 minus 0, which is just 0. Now we'll go to the calculator to determine this value. We'd have 50 times 20 minus 0 0.25 times 20 squared, which is equal to 900. And therefore, the work done would be 900 foot-pounds. I hope you found this helpful.